Before last season, Lakers general manager Mitch Kupchak felt his team had a two-year window to compete for NBA titles, and he thought he had the perfect point guard to lead them. Sure, Steve Nash was nearing 40, but he had been written off before and still played at a high level. Nash's stay in L.A., though, has been one big injury. He's missed 75 of 135 games with the Lakers due to ankle, neck, hip, and hamstring problems complicated by nerve damage. In this installment of a series for Grantland, Nash contemplated a frightening prospect for a professional athlete, the finish line. One of the hardest things about this whole thing has been this feeling like you know, I'm just stuck in this in no man's land, like in this black hole. You know, it's like the movie Groundhog Day. To go through so many days over the last eight months where I'm not sure. You know, it's it's painful to go through the same thing every day and wait and wait and hope that the work you're doing, the rehabilitation you're doing is going to come through and you're going to get back out there. But, you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to get better. I feel like there's something, like, that I can't quite put my finger on that... I don't know, it feels like it's blocking me or it's like it's, I can see it out of the corner of my mind's eye or it's like this kind of dark presence. And it's, uh, I don't want it to sound mystical, but I feel this sense of something, you know, blocking me or slowing me down or troubling me. And I, I've started to wonder if I, that, that feeling I get is like, like doubt or that, more than that, like, is it the truth that I am done? Here, here, good. Here, good. Strong, up, here, 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 here. Last switch. I mean, at this stage, I peek over that wall you know, peering into a retirement every day. While you're injured and struggling and when you're out of the picture, you know, haven't played for over two months and, you know, somewhat forgotten in a sense. For the most part this season, this is my home during the game, which sucks. The game is being played like a hundred feet behind us. Man, it feels like I'm watching from Europe. I'm under contract next year, but there's no guarantee I'll be back. You know, if I'm the Lakers, you know, you got a 40-year-old point guard who hasn't been on the court much, who hasn't been himself, and you got an opportunity to rebuild your team. You know, I think that's got to be a very real possibility that this summer could be the end of my career. And you get a glimpse from your teammates, too. You know, Nick Young said to me the other day, do you ever watch, like, old video of yourself? And, you know, I think what he was trying to say is, like, you're different now, and you're not the same. And on the one hand, he's completely right. And on the other hand, I haven't given in yet. I still believe that I still have the capacity and the strength and quickness and hopefully the mobility. That's the hardest thing with my back is that I'm not as mobile. Drive, drive, drive. Get that left side around. Better. Good man. Stay centered. Get that left side back. Good. Man, I don't think it's a secret. You know, I, I was never the most explosive player on the floor. And, you know, for me, my, I think, strengths and what separated me in some respects was my mobility dexterity, ability to get into the cracks and to be able to do something with my body once I got there. Shot. a boy. Without the mobility that, you know, has, has been a huge part of my game, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be an average player. You know, if you ever see a child move, they're totally uninhibited. You know, they just move freely. They don't think about it. They're not straining or 
protecting, they just are. You know, at my best, you know, I am childlike out there. And to try to get back to that is, is a real challenge for me. Break. If you can unwind that spine and that nerve root and move purely again. Nice. You know, as a 40-year-old player, if you can retrain yourself to move, you know, that nerve issue and damage can subside and, and you can play. We've proven that. Now, can I sustain it? I don't know. When I hit you, that's when you, that's when you kick in. You know what I mean? As soon as, as, soon as you feel me touch, touch you go down. Ah. I, I see it. There's glimpses of it. So it's not totally gone. And frankly, if I don't get it back, it's not that it's totally gone. It's just that I can't do it three and a half nights a week. You know, I can do it once or twice a week. And that's not good enough for the NBA. Oh, nice. Hell of a move, boy. I mean, that's the standard. I don't, I don't want to go against the second rate standard. I want to go against, you know, what's really expected to be a, a really good NBA player. I mean, if I don't get there, I don't get there, but that's what I'm fighting for. Impersonation? Yes. Let's play hard. Let's stick together. This is a really important game tonight. Hell it's yeah, let's go, y'all. It's important that we cover for each other. We play with a lot of energy and passion. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Break it down three. One, two, three. Hey. <laughs> skill, they lose a big part of themselves, a part that they build their life around that, you know, has been a huge part of their purpose, self-esteem, identity. So when the skill or ability goes, it's like there's been a death. So on the one hand, I'm lucky I, I've gotten better part of 18 years of it. On the other hand, it'll never be the same again.